Harry Styles just put on a dress. Harry Styles wore a dress. I don't even really know who Harry Styles is. I kind of recognize the name. What is he, a singer or an actor or something like that? He's some show business guy. And he takes this picture wearing a very silly dress. But as far as I can tell, he's not wearing the dress ironically. He's wearing the dress earnestly. And Candace Owens, my friend and now colleague, Candace Owens, tweets out, uh, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this and the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children. It's not a coincidence. It's an outright right attack. Bring back manly men. And she trends for this on Twitter. People were so upset that she said this. How dare you suggest that Harry Styles can't wear a dress? Now, some people on the right, the more libertarian right, get this wrong. They say, who cares if he wears a dress? It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with culture. You know, it doesn't have to do with politics. First of all, yes, it does. Yes, it does. We need to stop this silly thing that everybody can do whatever they want to do, and that has no political or cultural effect at all. First of all, it obviously has a cultural effect. If men start wearing dresses, that is a description of culture. What is culture? It involves our cultivation. It involves how we behave in the world. Uh, right now, men wear suits, a little bit at least. They wear suits. That's just a, a cultural norm. Men, I guess, could wear dresses, but that would be a different culture. But moreover, it is political. Politics is just how we all get along together. That I know we have a very narrow definition of politics now to just what certain departments of the government do, but that's not historically what politics is. And I think conservatives are very silly to adopt this narrow view of politics. Politics is just how we all get along together. So obviously culture affects politics, politics affects culture. It's a little bit of a blurry line. And it is political. When a public figure does something in public, that is a political statement. And the political statement here is that men ought to wear dresses. And it's something the, the right doesn't get either, because so, sometimes the right either gets too permissive or too moralizing about this. And the real answer is somewhere in the middle. I can't believe I even have to say this. It's so, it's so weird that our culture has decayed so much that I have to say this obvious truth. Men wearing dresses, dressing in drag, is funny because men are not supposed to wear dresses. It is funny. I know some people want to really moralize and say drag isn't funny. It's merely an abomination. It's merely the, okay, but, but it is kind of funny. It's funny because it's incongruous because men are not supposed to wear dresses, but you need that second part for it to be funny too. If you live in a world where you think men are supposed to wear dresses, then it's not funny, right? It's, it, this is something the left managed to do. They somehow managed to make drag queens boring. I don't know how you do that. They somehow managed to make these crazy, insane parades. There's a parade in, in New York on Coney Island. I think it's called the Mermaid Parade. And it's where all these drag queens dress up in crazy costumes. And it's very weird. You know, that's the whole point of it is it's supposed to be weird. Now we're supposed to be told this is entirely normal, but it's not normal. Men are not in dresses. The fact that a man can put on all of the various accoutrement and adornments of womanhood, of femininity, and still be obviously a man is what makes it funny. Because it means that there is such a thing as masculinity. There is such a thing as manliness. You can dress it all up like a woman, but still you're a man. But we've lost sight of that now because we believe that men can be women and women can be men and gender is a social construct and sex isn't real, even though it's innate and our sexual dispositions are so innate, we can't change them. We're born this way. Obviously, there are so many contradictions here. There's no such thing as gender, but women are the future. The future is female. You say, wait a second, what? I hope you enjoyed that short segment from the Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.